you know, try to do like two or three times a week, just come up with different ideas and projects that you give yourself. And the more you do that, the more you'll get comfortable with how the light is working. It takes a long time to kind of understand how light works, how your how this softbox is going to look when you, you know, move it in this way or do this or do that, you know, how the background is going to affect it, how that wall is going to affect the light bouncing back onto somebody. The only way to get to that is just to, to, to play around a lot. Anyway. Yeah, I think, I think you start with a motivated, I mean, when we're building, that's what we start with, with a motivated light source, you know, like, and then from there, you're just problem solving is the best way to think about it. Like 90% of it is like, all right, well, we still have this, this hot spot here. How do we kill that? We still have this light source we don't want here. How do we kill that? What is this coming from? Where's the shadow coming from? How do we kill that? Um, and I think that's kind of the, kill. the difference between like cinematography and traditional photography. Don't but kill also understanding bad, yeah. that a lot of our roots in in the light sources Don't that forget. we're using and the equipment that we are using are still from cinematography, and we could always go back and use those. Uh, you know, none, it all still works, and especially now when we can get down to. You know, I mean, we have ridiculous ISOs nowadays. Like, it's insane the tech that we have that we can use now. Yeah, it's funny. I, I, I'm actually shooting a music video uh, tomorrow, and I'm using all my lights from my photography. <laughs> so it's like I've got my, my main light. Uh, we're going to shoot a lot with natural light, but when I'm shooting my main light, it's just going to be probably my my honey badger led light as the the main source you know what i mean the main direction and then just adding depth to the back by you, you start noticing this the more you start watching movies is how they add depth you know and by there's always i mean if you pay attention to this there's always one yellowish light in the background <laughs> if you're like if there's somebody walking through a house no matter what it could be the middle of the day there's I just always a did. light on I just did. Behind them with and a, I even a look out of the house. And that's like and I see the, the most the amazing of like things. Making the eye feel like there's more space out there. Of the house. And fact, I'm always like, you know, I love no matter what you do, if you're going to start doing like cinematography or whatever, just get yourself fact, a good kind I of I really anti, love it here. Uh, In fact, yellowish, like, I really love it here. Light and just put but it I do not love or and, uh, those fines. What I do not love yeah. Uh, bills I cannot oh, pay. So what I love is to do that. Okay. Mm. Isaac, what are you? Are you still working on Damn your, it! Uh, you? you know what I mean? Yeah, we're doing I'm not gonna a lot of pay uh, for shit because Sunday, you know what I mean. Like you need to be a big deal to start um, with. And so my friend Veronica, who I, I had done my a friend photo shoot for, came to me and said, "Can we shoot a video for it?" I'm and sure. I've got my uh, I got Black one. Magic 4K here, so I Black can get Magic a really 4K look here. From it. I got uh, shit here. You're extremely limited by oh my god resources, you know, because I think people Let's when they they want to shoot it. a video. They're still thinking my like, God. almost kind of like you're shooting. I'm going to go all the way down. You know, Let's go into so my other ones. Into Let's go into my favorite about, ones. I think I need to be my favorite so ones. Fast, um, Let's be my favorite so you ones. Of this year. These are just of this year. Get them out. Get them out. Get them out. Get them out. 
get them over here. Get them over here. Get them over here. The golf. The light. Uh, I'm not going to share the box. The um, let, alone his truck. let alone his <laughs> truck. So, I was like, get well, the point with the box. Why don't we just wait until the sun is coming down? Why don't we just wait? Shoot the whole video the as beach. if I'm shooting like a, a family photo session. You know, just the sun coming down. Beach, the sun and, coming you know, down. We'll find some really beautiful part of. Uh, yeah, we you find know, some beautiful people. I've got all these great right. places that I've done like photo right shoots down here. Okay, I got a, so I got a note here. Like, you know what I mean? Some will love to art and it's here. Shows on the prizes. It's all back up again. That's the other rock. Now we'll be doing it by themselves. Okay. Genial. For my Mexican friends or my friends who know much about Mexico, the song is called Veracruz. And we're in Yucatan. Genial, he did it. Genial. Uh -huh. Chichen Itza, Chichen Itza. Chichen Itza, here. So that's our challenge right now. We're trying to find places yeah. in, Boom. in places in, places in, places in. Kind of like Veracruz, because the look whole song is kind Veracruz. of like Veracruz. Anyway, so anyway that's where I'm at right it's now. kind of like a See, the thing about show film, right? Here. They don't understand that. It's kind of a you have to show take here. Isn't it kind of a shit show? Shots, you know? and, I think it's kind of a shit show. Uh, here. A oh, here, here, to, here, this is what I want to do in here. Sure in here. This is kind of what I want to find uh, one more time gaffer, in here. Where, where is it? Where, it? where uh, is it? Sure where is it in here? That's me that need to find one more time in here. Because, you see what I mean? In the end, that is an entire production. I need yeah. to get in. No, I, mean, I, I need really, to get in this I, new production. Get in. And get as in. Much as Where it is my cool shit? To have get in. A lot of people working with you. Like, I mean, I think that get sometimes we want to have out. like a big production with all, you know you have the giant scrims and then you have like the yeah. giant you know fresno lights and blah 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 fresno and lights. there's a there's a certain look to filmmaking uh -huh. you know, if you've been on a film set it's just like it's impressive you know all the lights yeah. and everything and it's impressive maybe you'll see somebody famous walking by or you'll see the chairs or you'll see like people you know uh -huh. the camera crew like working on their you here know, all the time and stuff. So, all the time i mean it's just a very cool i once even did what I did been, been drawings here. Maybe that I should so do so again. Again. Who have made again. Films and just Let's do this one more time. Just wasted all here. their money on here. shit that they absolutely didn't need. I, I had a friend here that just made a film. Here. And they had like probably a crew of here. like 20 or 30 people here. on a film that will never, it'll never see the light of day. I mean, it'll never be out of the hard drive because yeah, exactly. it wasn't planned well. They didn't have any sort of shot list. The acting is yeah. really bad. Yeah. Um, and if those of you guys that know me, you know, from before my photography days, I mean, I was 100% into, you know, discussing filmmaking and distribution and, and producing and screenwriting and everything. So it's a very big thing for me. Um, but I really just love the idea of having a very, very, almost shooting like documentary style, you know, just grabbing a camera, having a sound guy with you and, you know, using whatever natural light you can, I mean, having a little bit of maybe like two or three assistants to, to, you know, and some LED maybe two or three assistants, yes. with, but working very that would be nice. because the more people you have on set, if they're not acting professionally i mean forget about it forget, sure about it forget about it forget about Isaac, it forget about it like forget working, about it working with like ultra pro people you know but you're not in my case i'm working with a lot of people who are like oh yeah I'll, i know what they got i'll come in and volunteer my time and i'll hold a light or i'll 
I'll move this or I'll move that. But what it ends up happening is they end up like hanging out over craft services. Exactly. And, it's you know, awesome. sometimes they're side. even talking so loud that, that you can't the mic picks them up or you'll just have, to, or they'll eat all the food of the actual yeah, exactly. people who are working. I had a film I know. one time and it was like a million degrees outside and I had my actors, we were in this old abandoned train and we were shooting this really, exactly. you know, I was doing a lot of improvisation. And you can hear the the um the eating all your food like yeah. talking. <laughs> and when we finally and then got out see there, how it looks outside fruit, here, 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 here. here. And that and is what I mean. Like, here, here, here. Why are yeah. you fucking people even here? It's like there's no point. I'm so sorry you know, that I would have been better to be interested in a neighborhood. Sorry, sorry here, here, here. Than having like a bunch of extra people, but anyway. You see, but I don't want to be killed here, here. I was just here. like picturing that while you were saying that, and I'm like, it'd be so bad if someone like ate my grapes. Like, <laughs> I would just be so pissed. I would, yeah, grapes. Who? I would be pissed. Touch my grapes. I'm the boss. Like, I would grapes. never though, but like, I'm tempted one day. I don't know. I'm tempted. <laughs> but thanks, Jason. Day. I'm like, I love you talking about light and cinematography. Yeah, but the music, go. it's really peaceful. Your music can you hear video it? is right here all the time. I might have stole this from you, Julia. Was it you that you? I don't. It's yeah. okay. I love it. It's please. Okay. I feel like I people need more it. rooms with like soundtracks. Yeah. Yeah. So. But then still, we know some gentlemen came by and looked at it like one more time, sex. and he was suddenly like this courage to buy yes, what he saw up there, <laughs> and so was I maybe discouraged by what. I saw because you see what I mean. I want you guys to see here. Everything's a drum. What um, is everybody's a learner. Here. I just agree with you. What you said, like if you and had lo more like less people there, it would have been much more sometimes here. smoother. What I also feel that like that. I like smaller teams sometimes more than here. like larger ones because there's like less pressure on the shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, it really depends on the the, yeah. the actor yeah. that you're working with. I um, see the actress. But, I'm working you know, if you with have the actor, really I'm working with. Production and it's you have lights, like and really especially if you're working with people me. who have only worked in the theater, uh -huh. it's really super intimidating. So your job as a director almost uh -huh. just becomes like sheltering the actors so that they don't so, have the voice in their head. You know, I was listening to. Um, uh, housing the actors I, I think in it was my a house. podcast the other day yeah, yeah. and they were talking about this um but not uh, tennis housing player everybody and how he got yeah, prepared yeah. for playing uh housing the actors. who's one of the maybe it was nadal or yeah, one of those guys yeah. and they were saying okay well how do these guys who how do who these have guys live there like what is their what do they do they in order to be like 100 percent focused there, there. While they're, you know, while they're playing, there, there. and Why I think they were asking the dollars, so somebody like that, I get my, my tennis players, there. I get them mixed up. Why do we always um, but he was saying that the most important thing for him was to quiet like his inner voice. Why do we always And that was what, he would go through all sorts of ceremonies, like he would go, when he would walk onto the court, it was exactly the, the same way, and he would do the same do ceremony right before not he would start playing. Like and the really interesting look, thing like about us. that what was that, you know, he was playing what against it, the most, shit. the best tennis what players in the world. Is and the most important thing for him was not uh -huh. thinking about them or thinking about their strategy or thinking about whatever. The most yeah, important just thing for it. him was just getting out of his head. Yeah, and exactly. Just do it. No, that's how about he was able it. to perform the way he was. About and they it. also talked about and then look you at know, that people one. like Tiger Woods, look people it. that are kind of like at the top of their game. Look at and it. where look they are, it. you know, where what are the most they? important thing yeah. for them mentally My is going into something okay, that's that is what you know, I need. highly stressful. Those and, I need. and, you know, typically that was the main thing, was just completely 